Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. We're going to get right into it. No bumper. 133 favorite artists. That's where the list stopped. I made 80 minute playlists, listened to them for a year, ranked them, re ranked them, considered the live experience, considered how much I just care about the band or artist. Do I read magazines? Do I buy books? Do I buy DVDs? Do I watch concert films? So that's the criteria. It's explained below. And this particular artist, I have a link to the playlist below. So if you want, if you're curious and you want to hear more about them, I highly recommend the playlist. I also have a link to my Patreon page. And do hit that like or subscribe button. So we got all that out of the way. So number 90 today. And this is someone I really like a lot. I like them all. I always say I got a good one for you today. And I do. So we've had rock and rap and jazz and vocals and we've had a number of country we've had a number of different uh, genres here but i'm not sure i don't think we've discussed reggae yet so where would they be obviously kingstown jamaica that's where everybody's from unless you're from england um i like bands like steel pulse but this band is black uhuru Uhuru is Swahilian for freedom. Love this band. Have I seen them live? Yes. Are you ready for this? Four times. 1982, 1984, 1985, 1986. Michael Rose had left the band and uh, what have I got? You know, I, ha I, I used to have Anthem and uh, Chill Out and Red, but they're not in my collection anymore. So right now I just have anthologies. So I have this early one that's called The Ultimate Collection on Hippo. H-I-P hyphen O. It's a really good label. This got a lot of their uh, early material. And then I've got uh, this wonderful... Uh, Island Anthology, uh, Liberation, the Island Anthology. And that's the singers on the front. That's uh, Duck, uh, Ducky Simpson, Puma Jones, who was American, rest in peace, and Michael Rose. Puma Jones, by the way, was a social worker in North Carolina, South Carolina, one of those places, and she joined the band. Yeah, and then I, I have them on all sorts of anthologies, like this wonderful four-disc anthology, The Story of Jamaican Music. This got everybody. This right here, if you own this, yeah, you've got most of the great reggae that was ever recorded. Um, but the rhythm section, let's talk about the rhythm section. Sly and Robbie, Sly Dunbar and Robbie Shakespeare, also sometimes called Sly Drumbar and Robbie Bass Spear. <laughs> yeah. And they are perhaps the tightest rhythm section I have ever seen in concert. They are so locked in. And Robbie is so creative. Uh, he's passed away, rest in peace. Um, th those are the two members that have passed away is Puma Jones and Robbie Shakespeare died a couple of years ago, but some of the best, to me, one of the top bass players of all time, forget that it's reggae. I mean, just forget that it's reggae. One of the great bass players, Sly, Sly and Robbie have done session work for a lot of people, including Bob Dylan. They were on Bob Dylan's Infidels. Uh, so highly regarded, wonderful bass player. And then uh, Sly Dunbar would play those uh, syndromes in concert. And they make this noise. I think I can imitate it. He hits it and it goes. <clears throat> got a little spit flying out. Sorry about that. But just great hits on those drums. And you can't help but just dance and do that skanking, they call it. And you just have to get up and move. Wonderful. I've seen a number of reggae artists. I've seen Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff, 
burning spear, seen Steel Pulse a couple times. And Steel Pulse is the only band that can really rival them in concert. But for the complete discography, Black Uhuru, love them. And their songs, of course, are all political. But they're part of the second wave, I would say. Um, some might say third wave, but the second wave of reggae. They were pioneering a brand new sound, a little harder, a little more rocking, and great live con. If you ever have a chance to see some video of them on YouTube, they're they're just fantastic. Uh, not much to say about the you know lyrics, general penitentiary, abortion, different song titles, uh, sense of Mia. Um, one of my favorite songs is called Spongy Reggae, S-P-O-N-J-I, Spongy Reggae, and The Youth of Eglinton. So, you know, political, typical reggae. All great. Love it. So I'm going to sign off, and as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>